what is up guys so we're heading out to bmw right now get some parts for the x3 so hopefully uh when we get back home uh we have enough parts to put the car back together because yesterday i took everything off and i posted a video of that one the parts together so we can go ahead and uh, put it back together if we don't get all the parts that means we are going to have put some of these broken parts together and put them back on the car so that's that's the journey for today all right guys so we got a box in the back the big box back there yep that one over there so we got the box and we got the parts we got a huge bell over here and now we're about to go home and start working on the car all right fellas so we got the parts oem bmw yep and that's what that is all of that nonsense is right here i mean i could have gone the other route and get it cheaper from uh ebay or something but uh so i think oem is to go is the way to go on these things i got this uh ducts i gotta move over that one over there because goes right here so i think overall everything looks what it needs to be this one is in two pieces so should be in there like this this one is broken from the accent right there in the middle and right up here so the this so all right so what i'm about to do right now is i'm about to remove this front reinforcement bar i was gonna get this guy too but paying 300 dollars for this i don't think it's worth it and this one is not damaged too much on it so we're really just gonna reuse this one i'm just gonna take these bolts off pull it off so we can put that uh, new enforcement right here the air duct put that on secure everything and uh put this reinforcement back on secure everything down go ahead and put the rest of the parts on All right, guys, so this is the bend on the rebar. And if you guys can see this, uh, just a little bend. I think this should be fine. It's not that bad. All right, guys, so we got the front end on the car and it looks really good. It looks unbroken like the other one was. So what I'm about to do right now is uh, put the reinforcement bar there and uh, kind of secure all this back. All right, boys, so we have installed the rebar back on. It was a little tweaked on this end. It was pushed in, and this side wasn't, the holes were not going in, so I had to move that uh, a little over to the side. But uh, we got the front top all secured, bolted on, all torqued, everything is good. This is all good, torqued in, the crossbars, the bottom right here, it's sitting in securely so we got this guy on got the hanger on secured intake is good and secured so now what's next is we have to install the bumper grills so that's the new one that we got from carparts.com if you guys need parts you guys can go on there and get some of the parts this is the top one so we have to touch this guy up a little bit right here up front 
It's not looking the best, but it's got a little paint running back here. But I mean, it's a lot better than what it was. He had black scuff marks. I'm sure this is gonna get dirty and you won't be able to notice it. So let me clean the bumper up, flip it over, and then we can install this guy. All right guys, so we got a top part in. So make sure before you snap everything in, make sure you align this end and this end that are gonna come in the same spot. And kind of make sure to align all these little pinholes. Make sure they all kind of clip in at the same time when you push them in. And work your way from one end to the other. It's a lot easier. And hold the bumper from the bottom as well as you go. Because if you don't hold the bumper from the bottom and push down, you can break something else along that way. But uh, we managed nice and smooth replacement without any breaks so far. So let me put this plastic on the bottom here, flip the bumper here on the bottom, and then we'll put this guy in afterwards. All right, guys, so just like that, we got the front bumper assembled. So we got this clipped in. Everything looks nice and snug. All the lines look really good on the grills. So we don't have any more broken parts. So this is the only bad part right now that's left on the bumper. But uh, if we go ahead and put a license plate cover here, we can hide this maybe. Or I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna call BMW and see how much is for this piece. If it's not too expensive, I might just replace that as well. So, but yeah, here goes the bumper. It's all back together. It also look nice and clean. So what I'm about to do now is hang the bumper back on, fix the air ducts for the brake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, almost done with the front bumper install. Everything is all done right here. So even the bottom here. So the hood is finally Done. All right, so that looks good. So now what's left is we gotta secure the bumper. That's all gonna come from the bottom. And uh, this is it, guys. So X3 is coming along. We got a bunch of screws that has to go underneath the plate. It's sitting over there. And this is all the bad stuff. So we're just gonna throw it out in the box and throw it in the garbage. So fender flares has to go back, fender liner, but we have to secure the bottom first. As soon as that's all done, secure. That's, I mean, pretty much it. Bumper can go. The only problem is it took me yesterday like a long time to get the grill out so I can get those two screws. The screw that sits right here. There's one over here, there's one over here that holds the bumper in. So you can get this alignment perfectly done and nice. But uh, yeah, it took me a while for, to figure those guys out. But these grills, they look nice and uh, new right now. Not broken anymore. The front end looks a little bit nice and kind of curvy around the corner before it was going in. So we got that taken care of. So now it's, the bottom has to be all bolted in. Then we got a bunch of screws over there. That's for the bottom plate. That's all for the front. Then uh, fender liner, those are, those are the plastic clips we have to put on. So, almost there. When you're putting this together, putting it back or taking off the, f the front bumper from this car, it's a pain in the butt to get it off and put it back on as well. I mean, it's not as much putting it back on, but taking it off, trying to find out where all the screws are, it's ridiculous. So you have couple of these guys one is right here then you have a plastic tip that goes in here that holds the bumper for until you get the screws in and then you got one screw like right over here like right at this area you got one screw so one plastic another screw this is not really easy to get to unless you take your wheel off 
but in this case we're not taking the wheel off because we can't we broke our we broke the locking device that sits over there and it's right there it's all broken up so it's not it's useless now so we can't get the wheels off but what I know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this fender liner back in because this side is all done put a fender liner on this side put a inner fender on as well and put all that uh, side uh, fender fair fairing on there too as well I'm gonna finish this side then I'm gonna hop on to the other I'm gonna have to move that monster machine over there We got this one all done, buttoned up, nice and secure. Everything is done on this side, underneath, on the side, uh, in the fender lines, outside the uh, fender flares, everything is done. Nice and tight, secured. So I'm about to jump over to the passenger side and get that one done. All right, guys, so I'm running out of breath, cleaning all this up, finishing off everything. So this is, this is one pain in the butt of project I'm telling you because if you haven't tried this or if you haven't done any any car work don't attempt to do take the front bumper off and try to fix something underneath because just take it to a professional by the time you get all the tools by the time you buy everything it's not gonna be worth doing it yourself so I'm saving so the front cooling shroud right here in front of right here that says this whole plastic piece right here this cost three hundred dollars we have this little pins that was a few bucks and uh, the grills cost a hundred bucks so this grill right here and the bottom grill that was hundred bucks we repainted this a little bit so it's just to touch it up uh, so I mean we spent about 400 bucks fixing this and it took me about two days to take it off go get a new one and put it back on uh, if you haven't done any work, car work, guys, I wouldn't suggest you taking on this kind of project because this is pain in the ass project. So, but uh, we got it done. So let me just uh, undo the jack, jack stains, clean all this up, get the car outside. So guys, when you are done watching the video, hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell on the side as well so you get notified when the next video comes up and hopefully you like this one and there is going to be plenty more to come so i want to thank you for watching subscribing liking and i'll see you next time peace